Welcome to the Continuing Education Program, Understanding Contrast Media in the Clinical Setting, Part 2. I'm Stacy Kern. I'm Don Porter, and in this segment, we're going to look at how iodinated contrast agents are used in radiographic imaging, primarily in computed tomography, or CT imaging. Part one of this series can be viewed separately. That program addressed the use of gadolinium-based contrast agents in magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. You may complete either of these programs individually for one CE credit, or you may complete both programs for two CE credits. With the continued advancements in the technology of CT scanners, scanning protocols, and radiation reduction strategies, the appropriate use of CT continues to evolve. With increased use of CT imaging, it's important to understand the vital and expanding role contrast agents play in obtaining optimal diagnostic images. As CT applications continue to evolve, radiologic technologists must keep abreast of current guidelines and protocols. While iodinated contrast agents are often associated with CT imaging, they are also used in other imaging applications, including radiography or plain film x-ray, excretory urography, IVP, angiography, myelography, arthrography, and cystography, as well as other imaging studies. The use of contrast agents allows radiologists and radiologic technologists to optimize the CT scan so that the contrast media will help to better differentiate disease or injury by allowing certain organs, tissue types, or blood vessels to appear more clearly distinct from surrounding tissue.